Hi again. I am back, okay, with our week contents, our packet contents for April 19th to April 23rd. Okay, this week we are talking about building a park. Okay, it's a level E book, so remember that's a lot more difficult than last week's book. So you might need to break this story up, read a couple pages each day. You can even answer the comprehension questions, break them apart. Five days a week, there's five comprehension questions. So like you can read up to the first question, be able to answer the first question, okay. Tuesday, read a couple more pages and then answer comprehension question number two, okay, and go on like that. Remember to keep them engaged by having them look at the picture. Even something like touching up page three, we're on page three. All right, try and have your child turn the pages each time. Okay, all these little things that us as parents, we just tend to do for them automatically. All right, it is helping by making your child more independent. Okay, so I appreciate all that you are doing at home with your child. All right, the next thing in the packet is our comprehension, uh, not comprehension, communication board. Okay, remember that yes and no at the top. All right, and you can use these to answer questions. You can even take, all right, an, another piece of paper and cover up part of it, okay? If it's way too much for your child, okay, ask them a question that you can, they can answer from these choices, okay? Because sometimes too much choice is very overwhelming. All right, the next thing we have are five comprehension questions. All right, remember you can cover up one of our choices so they're only having to choose between two. Um, if your child can't choose between two, that's okay also. Cover up the two that are not the correct choice and have them, this way it's like, um, you know, they can't make a mistake. They're gonna only choose that one picture. Remember to get excited, uh, tell them great job, good choice, um, because remember we are still um, encouraging them to do their work. All right, the next page is another sort. We are sorting between things that hurt the environment and things that help our environment. All right, the page behind it, okay, you always wanna try and use the ones with the pictures right now. With That's where my guys are. So cut these out and have them ready to go. All right, and you're gonna say, oh, what do we do? We throw away our trash, that helps the environment. So we're gonna have them put it in that helps circle. Next, we have our spelling words. All right, remember they're only on vertical and horizontal lines. If your child can trace all of them independently, go ahead and have them trace it independently. Um, if they're working on those vertical or horizontal lines, have just go through and highlight them or even take a yellow crown and mark the ones that you want them to do and then give them a pencil and then just say, okay, trace, and have them trace the spots you want them to trace. Next, letter B. Okay, B, ball, B. All right, and we have the same from last week, the same pictures, okay? Um, but just in case you threw them out, I did provide it for you again. All right, you only need this row, okay? You can kind of get a week ahead and cut out L words too if you want um, and use those B and L words together and have them choose which one. For example, take bag and lock and hold them both up and say, okay, which one starts with the letter B? Bag, b, b, good job. Bag goes with the letter B and have them glue it here. Okay, after that, our math page is about money this week. Okay, and notice it's all filled in. So what I'd like you to do if you have these coins at home, okay, show them, say, a penny and a quarter, and say, look, the nail is up worth one cent. It is a penny. Find the penny, and you would hold up a penny and a quarter, and they would take the penny and place it on the penny. Okay, heads up so that they're matching that coin. All right, and then next we have our Scholastic Magazine for this week. It's nice and bright, colorful. Uh, please read through this with your child, okay? Big day for ducklings. 
Remember to keep them engaged by having them touch the number one or touch the yellow square. All right, as you read, have them point and read so that they learn to go left to right, top to bottom. All right, and then on the back is some questions if you'd like to do them with your child. All right, remember, as always, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out um, on Class Dojo. Message me if you need anything, if you need any additional work. Remember, there are things virtually that you can go on and complete as well. Um, and our boom cards, don't forget about them either. All right, thank you so much. See you next week.